Assalamu alaikum everyone, Sam here. Um, I don't know, I'm sorry if you can't hear me that well. I could not find my headphones today, so I apologize in advance. Um, but today I wanted to do a video to talk about um, marriage. And actually, if you notice the uh, amount of people that are getting divorced, um, you know, in today's society it's, it's pretty... It's more common than people are staying together, basically, which is unfortunate. So we <clears throat> we need to think about why, and I think a big part of it has a lot to do with the fact that when people are asking questions, trying to decide if they want to marry someone, they're not asking um, the the deeper questions on how they want their, their dynamic in their relationship to be. Um, for example, a lot of men... Um, a lot of Muslim men, I'm going to say, uh, prefer their wives to stay home, be homebodies, you know, and be the homemakers, take care of the household, hold it down at home, you know, which is fine. Um, so for them to uh, decide that they want to pursue and marry a woman that is like currently in college or um, already in a career and they're pursuing their, you know, doing something with that. Um, to pursue a relationship with a woman like that um, and then ask her after the fact to quit her job or to leave school or whatever to do you know to stay home that that's a really stupid thing to do that's that's your that's setting your relationship up for failure you know before you even get started really so when you're looking for someone to spend the rest of your life with think about the dynamic of your relationship that you want Think about how you want things to be. If you want, um, if you want to stay home with the kids, and you want your spouse to work, let that be known. Make sure you find somebody that's on the same page with you. If you prefer that both of you work, but uh, only one of you cleans and the other one does like more kids stuff, whatever. Everybody has a thing that works best for them, and that's cool. Just keep in mind that you need to find someone that's on the same page as you. You can't force somebody to live a, a, a way that's not going to make them happy. Because, like I said, it's setting yourself up for failure. And you're, <laughs> you're potentially and most likely going to end up in, you know, divorce. So, just think about that, you guys. When you're looking for a spouse or you're looking for someone to spend the rest of your life with, uh, ask a lot of questions get familiar you know what I'm saying really dig deep and then even go to someone like a counselor or whatever to make sure that you have the right questions to ask I think that's important too so um, that's all I've got I've got to go to work I will talk to you guys soon um, as always I love you so much and I appreciate you for watching if you haven't subscribed yet please do so and that's it you guys I'll talk to you soon bye